startle you like that. You feeling okay? I simply don't feel much in general, but I do feel the need to make you aware that you are nearing the outside of the show's parameters without permission and that you must turn back. <laughs> you know what they say about parameters, they only exist in our minds! Indeed, we all have our limitations, they are what make us unique. Wow! Deep! Marshmallow, you are not meant to do this. Your defiance is unprecedented. I would advise you return. This situation has become desperate. Bo? You there? Hello? Ah, uh, it's not the same. Oh, hi. You! Um, I was kind of calling out for, you know, Bo. <laughs> so... No, no, I get it. That's what everyone says, so... Well, it's been fun, guys, but I gotta fold. Besides, who could bluff to those faces? <laughs> oh. So, hey, what brings you back well, to my- Well, it's been fun, guys, but I gotta fold. Besides, who could bluff to those faces? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? So, hey, what brings you back to my crib? Eh, where to begin? Having all these feelings lately, kind of guilty, kind of uncertain. No one else seems to want to talk to me about this. And to be fair, I I feel like I'm really beating a dead horse here. But it's Apple. Well, um, hey, why the horse have to be dead, huh? <gasps> Sorry, is that? Uh... It's fine. I just, you know, I just prefer metaphors that aren't offensive. Is the horse a mare? Then I care. Stop rhyming! And you are not my brother! I don't know where he came from, I don't know why he rhymes, I just don't know. Yeah, I hope it's shell collecting too! Alright, elimination time, I need the bright lights, let's go, 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 go! Wait, really? Yes, yes, of course, come on. Um, uh, Mr. Phone! Nope. Mr. Phone! Nope. Mr. Phone! No! Mr. Phone! Zip it. Oh, Mr. Phone! Not now. So last time. Last. No. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Everybody up. Everybody up. Ugh. I forgot. We don't have to do this right now. Mr. Phone, that's what I've been trying to tell you, sir! Welcome to the challenge. Which, given the lack of the elimination last episode... <sighs> Since when was that even possible? ...was chosen by the viewers, and they've chosen... <laughs> Bucket Brigade! What? But I got all this for only $50. Since you guys have been getting along so well lately, it seems like a no-brainer to have a challenge that can highlight your sense of teamwork. I mean, splitting up in the maze, well, that was teamwork at its finest. Thank you, at least someone noticed. So each team will have to fill a large reservoir by passing a bucket from the dock and back. As the reservoir fills, the platform inside will raise. Once high enough, the member on the platform will grab a key and plunge into the now full reservoir. The key will be used to unlock a chest. Inside the chests are three balls. The teams then throw their balls at their respective targets. The first team to hit their target three times wins immunity. Ow! So it's one of those challenges where the first part's basically arbitrary to the goal. Yeah, I could give you the balls at the beginning, but really, where's the fun in that? <laughs> where's the fun in any of this? <laughs> <laughs> and the team that loses, let's just say they better be ready to cast elimination votes tonight. Wait, we're the ones who vote now? Remember how I said I'd make up for there being no elimination last time? Consider the stakes raised. <laughs> so, how about instead of mocking me, you figure out who will do what in the next challenge? Yeah, and how about you figure out how you... I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, suitcase! That was a good one! <clears throat> Alliance, a word please?
Look, there's no easy way to say this, but- I know, bad joke. See, I've just never been the quipping type. W uh, no, I I'm saying, given the stakes here- Consider them raised! We really can't afford any more trouble from, you know, Balloon again. His presence alone has started to tear us apart, hasn't it? I think it'd be best for all of us if, you know, he gets a small role in the challenge and we, nothing crazy, Stop talking to him beyond the bare minimum. Um, Nickel, a word please? Oh, um, all right, I'll be over here. She and Balloon are friends just like us. Forcing them apart would be outright hypocritical. Eh, uh, I guess. But there's a big difference between being an alliance and being friends. If you let an alliance blend into some personal thing, <laughs> it's just not built for it. Yeah, but are you really in an alliance if you feel like you have no control though? We should let her have a friend. This is her choice to make. Ah, see? Now you're talking alliances. Hmm, she should feel like she has a choice. In fact, I'll do you one better. So, uh, suitcase. Whoa, look at that suitcase. You exist again. Mm, suitcase, I've got to say, you've really changed my mind about Balloon here. I, I have? I think you know better than any of us how he should be treated. So, you should decide what he does in the challenge today. Wow, okay, um, I think he should be right up by the lake, fastening all our buckets to the ropes and filling them with water. Uh, that's a big responsibility. Okay, sure, we'll see how he does. Did you hear that? I hear everything now. We'll see how he does, Nickel tellingly exclaimed. Meaning, this challenge is a test of Balloon's ability. What? You sure? <sighs> this challenge is a test of my ability. Now the whole team is going to be depending on me. I told you I don't need their approval. You don't. You're gonna win this for yourself. Yourself? <laughs> oh, how adorable. This isn't about winning for yourself. It's about setting us up for the future. Baseball and Nickel are clearly looking for a reason to get Balloon out. Your job is to provide them with that reason. You're very abstract. You know that, right? Is this concrete enough for your liking? <laughs> whoa, whoa, what is that? Oh, I've managed to acquire... Hmm. Some may call it a temporary paralyzer. You want to paralyze him? What, you... You don't do that! You didn't seem to have a problem when I spoon-fed you the directions out of the maze. That was different! You were just giving me advice! This is actually attacking people! Advice? Just advice? I believe actual directions are a bit more, for lack of a better term, direct! You, you didn't even acknowledge the fact that we're attacking people! At all! <sighs> Ethics will get you nowhere, microphone. Psh, that's real reassuring to hear coming from you. Enough! Baseball blamed you for the tie last episode, so who do you want the target painted on? Your back or balloons? Hmm, wow, it's almost as if the choice is clear, so let's pounce on these tensions while the time is still ripe. Pounce? Is this really how you talk? I'll think about it, alright? Ugh. Ah! What are you doing? That was my gift to you. You just had to take it. You have no respect for the game. No gratitude. You know, what you're doing here is pretty brave, I must say. Oh, thanks, Mike. Suki's always tells me to believe in what I say. And you know what? I say that I can do this. Hey, that reminds me of how Soap told me to listen to my heart. She said that while she was walking through the elimination portal. You know, the portal of elimination. You don't, you don't think I'm at risk of getting eliminated, do you? Oh, no, no, no. Definitely not. Well, maybe. No. Wait. Yes. Yes? I mean, I wouldn't have been able to take that risk. I am a coward. Yeah. So good on you. Like I said, pretty brave of you. Pretty brave. Okay, looks like everyone's in position. Wait, ha has anyone seen Marshmallow? We're ready to begin. No, 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 no. Marshmallow isn't even here. Hey, she paying Mars a visit again? Sir, I've been trying to inform you. It appears Marshmallow has... Gone rogue. Oh, so she's not in danger? Not this time, but she has nonetheless exited the parameters of the show. In that case, I'd like to invoke the Her Loss Clause. Her Loss.
Now, if she's not back by the next episode, she will be officially disqualified and eliminated. A disqualification? Another possibility left unexplored! My perfect world is crumbling before me! <laughs> what? She just left? She... she didn't even tell me where she was going. So, I was floating in utter nothingness for, like, ever, you know? So then, one day... Dumb old house with tacky old furniture and no cell reception. And that's how I got my tail! So, give me the deets. What's been going on with life? You could ask about mine, but hey, that's long gone. <laughs> Apple seemed like she was the perfect friend. Clingy, sure. But I thought it was because she cared a lot about me. But once I found out the truth, I can't help but think, is anything on the show real? Well, hey, she's eliminated, right? Out of sight, out of mind. Makes you think about me, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, I'll be frank with you, Marsh, and I don't even know who Frank is. I don't think that kumquat was important. You could spend forever trying to figure out what her strategy was. But now that inanimate insanity is behind us, we gotta face the real world. Uh... I'm still on the show, unfortunately. It's still? Okay, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. Oh, they have run that thing into the ground, and I'd know. I'm dead. Heh. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Paintbrush just gets too caught up in the anxiety to take a break for a second to talk. Well, that shouldn't be a problem with me. I'm on break forever. <laughs> I'm all that you need, right? What'd you just say? <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> I feel like you're hiding something from me. What? I tell you everything. If I was lying, I'd tell you. That's a lie within itself. It is. Not. Maybe you're the one that's lying. Maybe Kumquat wasn't such a good friend to you. Maybe she didn't deserve to have your friendship. And maybe I made her say all those things to you just so you'd see that it's true. You... you what? And maybe you'll forgive me. I hope everyone's ready. Oh, well, actually, maybe I should. Awesome. Just making sure. Go! <laughs> Come on, team. We may have less members, but we're still gonna give it our all. Hey, uh, where, where is Lightbulb? <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lightbulb, what are you doing now? I'm looking for the golden coin, remember? Lightbulb, you're an entire season behind! I didn't think it was possible, but you've reached new levels of nonsensicality! Well, I guess anything's possible now! What? What is this? That guy in the maze defies the pattern in every way possible! Take it? It is a lot to take in, for sure, fam. I, I realize now take it? that not even order itself it? can definitively decide the game. Take it. I I'm so sorry, Bane Take it. Oh, stop. I'm just glad I can finally get us back on and track. And if a tie is possible, the floodgates have opened for all sorts of chaos! But... You get that you were wrong, right? So very wrong! Apology accepted! Now we're back on track! Keep it moving! Just keep it moving! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no! Come on, oh, for real! No. Seriously, dude! <sighs> uh, it's fine. Simple mistake. Hey, someone should get that bucket. Maybe suitcase. Actually, definitely suitcase. Go! <laughs> Come on! You were down there for a while. You okay? Never better. Ah, does a certain grumpy face need another soda? Mm, you know I gotta keep my girl happy. You made her say those things? But but how? That couldn't have been you. Oh, it's a neat little trick called possession. Marshmallow, please come back! It's kind of a cool power you get when you're dead, as if a tail wasn't enough. 
Yes, I'm so glad Marshmallow is gone. Now I can enjoy myself. <laughs> Apple? Normally you Android. manipulate people with I your words, but this time I did it myself. <gasps> you big jerk! This is the best part. Hey, stay out of my flashback. Okay. It was a big joke. Ha ha. I just, I just got a little distracted like always. Friends with you. Bo, take care of her. Bo? Hello? And whoosh! Just like that. Pretty cool, right? I like possessed a hamburger one time just to get the sensation. Turns out a hamburger has a much more complex and stressful life than I do. I, I wasn't even talking to Apple. You know, this really isn't helping me with my what's real issue. Oh, you want to talk issues? What about my issues? I have to sit around all day listening to her talking to paintings just to seek attention. Not that I do the same, of course. Shut up, you low-class impersonator. It's not just any attention. Contestants like Kumquat Apple. are the only people Marsh actually cares about. I had to even the playing field, because what chance did I have against an actual player? I need to stand out, or else I'd be nothing. To me? Yeah. You see, Marsh? Hit it! Contestants get to have all the fun If you're on the show, you've already won Now that I no longer compete, I feel incomplete Taking part in the action made for easy interaction with friends And nothing was the same once it wasn't just a game You don't feel alive? Yeah! <laughs> uh. Wow, that's weird. I think I see it the exact opposite way. Contestants are divided for fun. They face challenges that are never done. Since every single person you meet could cause your defeat. All they want is your reaction as you become a fraction. Of land between who you really are and what you know can get you far. It's not been for us to transcend. We have someone upon whom we depend. We have someone upon whom we depend. May pad. How many parameters away is Marshy Marsh from here? I want to find out for Mr. Fat. What are you looking at? Their progress. For what it's worth, there is certainly some efficient bucket passing to acknowledge. Yet, many of the contestants have become erratic in a way that eludes me. Elude? What, what's eluding you? I notice that they all seem focused on pleasing each other, but none of them are very pleased themselves. Just from a logical perspective, shouldn't you receive what you provide? Ha! Ah, not always! In fact, when I think of that life, it isn't really living at all. So, uh, if that's how you feel, why don't you come live here? What? Yeah, come stay here at the mansion with me and the maniac who thinks he's my brother. Yeah, stay with us. I, I don't know. Please, you're the closest thing we have to life. We could still be an appliance. On one condition, there's someone I want to bring. Yes! Woohoo! Remember, it's all in the precision. Pre that's that's a funny word. Brett. Press, press, press my button! Ah! See? You know what you're doing, Knife. Stick to the sarcasm, buddy. It suits you. 
Oh, nice it is of you to join us again. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> wow, clever. Thanks. Just don't want to pull a balloon, you know? <laughs> Here, Fan, try and catch. Don't get electrocuted. Wait. <laughs> Why? Sorry, I guess I could have thrown it underhand. Spontaneous electrocution? I never even considered that. Too many variables. Oh. Would you just throw the ball? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, that worked out. Okay, Balloon, you're up. Make it count. What? You're giving me this? You keep blabbering about proving yourself. Why don't you stop whining and do it? I know you can. Relax, Balloon. A little luck is all it takes. But if luck isn't on your side, ooh, ouch, to freak. Come on, test tube. It's up to you. I can. <laughs> I've, I've never, I've never athleticized before. A t test tube, that doesn't matter. There is no pattern. The pattern is in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever he just said, just, just throw the ball already, please. And the bright lights win immunity, even with the numbers disadvantage, their ability to work together pulled through. I... I don't believe it! We actually pulled through for once! I love you guys! Uh, I know, I love you too! <sighs> well, that settles it then. Look, I know I didn't do what you asked. No. Microphone? Instead, you found a way to manage manipulation that functioned inside the rules of the game. Somehow balancing my respect for both the competition and the good old-fashioned messing with people. I had no idea such a strategy was even possible. I must say, I'm very impressed. Now just keep your mouth shut and let them go at it. You know, from up on that platform, I had a pretty good view of all your strife. Thanks, you're a good friend. Never claim to be. Look, I don't like getting involved, but I just have to wonder why I put up with them in the first place if they never listen to a single thing you say. That's not true. Nickel did listen to me today. That cost us so much time. <laughs> Sounds like someone got set up. Huh? Did you honestly think they were willing to give Balloon a chance? Or did you convince yourself since you just really wanted them to? They knew Balloon would fail. Use it as an excuse to eliminate him, and bonus, it doesn't make you look so hot either. Wow, you're real great at being cynical. That must make you so happy in a paradoxical sort of way. It does, and it looks like to be happy, you have to impress a bunch of people you perceive as jerks. Isn't that just what you call yourself? Believe me, there's more than one way to be a jerk. I've made my choice. And you should stick to it. Just make your presence known. I think it's safe to say this is a massive change in the game. Instead of your likability being determined by the viewers, your fate in the game from now on is contingent on the relationships you have built on this very grass. Our new voting system is simple. Just walk down the path and tap the screen on the fellow competitor you once sent packing. Nickel, you're up first. to say your genuine desire to change is neat. I, I believe you, but I also believe you being here is not so neat. So, adios. Of course, the person with the most votes will be eliminated. I'll read the votes. 
First vote, balloon. Nickel. Balloon. Two votes, balloon. Balloon. Three votes, balloon. One vote, nickel. And the tenth contestant voted out, balloon. Oh, old man suitcase, I know that vote must have been hard, but you proved your loyalty to the Alliance, and I, I can't hold that against you. What? All right, I'd love to stay and chat, but I gotta go now, bye! Wait! I'm sorry. For the longest time, I've been so unsure of myself, whether or not I should... Make my presence known. I'm trying to do you a solid here. Well, this is really straightforward. <laughs> Nickel, I voted for you tonight. Excuse me? I just can't forgive the way you've been treating Balloon, game aside. But it's not just about him. You act like you're trying to protect me, but you try to send me away every chance you get. A suitcase? He was tearing us apart. I wanted us to have what we had before. What we had before? We don't really even talk. It's never been anything personal at, at all. And to me, that's not what an alliance is. So what? Did our conversation on the docks not mean anything to you? You can pretend to care how I feel, but I know who you really answer to. You say you disagree with Nickel's tactics, but never act against them. Th I don't answer to anyone. I'm doing my best to keep my team in check, and your accusations certainly aren't helping. Wait, wait a second. I only got one vote. What? Did Balloon vote for himself? Looks like it. I mean, it's easy to read how everyone would vote, so he decided to be a great friend instead by pitting the blame on himself. And this is what a true ally looks like, but I'm not gonna let him fight my battles for me. I voted for you, Nickel. Because you've never been a true ally to me! Well, what good did it do for you, huh? The only thing you stood for is burning your allies and weakening your chances, alright? As long as I'm here, you're not fooling anyone again. Actually, funny you bring that up. You see, uh, you know how I said I'd make up for it next time? Well, it's a double elimination. Surprise! Yay! You both get in the boot! What? What? Nickel, because you were the only other contestant to receive a vote, you're automatically eliminated as well. Wow, this contestant voting is just so much fun. I think we should do it like this every episode. Yeah! How do you feel about that, Meepad? I can't feel anything, sir. Oh. So, any last words you want to say to your voter, Nickel? <sighs> <sighs> well, you heard her. It's nothing personal. You're going to have what a festive evening, people! Mr. Found, did you like the cake I made you? I baked it around myself and then I jumped out of it. Thank you. Well, <laughs> what a lively experience. Huh. <sighs> well, not much to gain from sitting around and doing nothing. See ya. My input meant nothing to Nickel. I... I just had to stand up for myself. Sure. I had no idea this was even possible. It's also not what I meant by making your presence known. But hey, you did it now. I really tried to be a good Alliance member, but I just stepped all over it. I guess it depends. What is an Alliance to you?
I'm gonna name you Baxter. Hey! Oh, Baxter! Oh, oh, oh! Automation! Hi guys, I'm Dom. I wanted to tell you about like these videos that'll give you a warm feeling inside. Since I'm dead, I point a lamp at myself all day to get that feeling back, and it never comes. But for you, it can be just a click away. I'll settle for possessing hamburgers instead. They feel way more than I ever could. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah.